seen a flag change was just incredible, man. Uh, you know, the leaders in our state, you know, they 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 took the right the right uh steps and you know to to get the you know flag down, man. Uh, you know, it, it raised a lot of I would say I would say just you know being that the flag was uh you know what it represents, man. And now that it's it's gone, like uh, that's just a I would say we can we can celebrate, you know, because we've taken the steps in the in the right direction. But um, for me, growing up in Mississippi, honestly, I didn't I didn't really have a I didn't really have an idea of what it was, what the what was going on at the time, you know, how to what the flag meant. Uh, it took me I would say till I got I would say until I got into college, man, like. Um, like I got into college, you know, I, I figured out, you know, what what it what it stood, what what was the meaning behind the flag. So, uh, you know, being that it's down, like it's incredible, man. It's definitely a step in the right direction. Thanks very much, Terrence. Appreciate it. Next up is Mike Ganser from the Toronto Sun. Hey, Terrence, how you doing? How you doing? Good, man. Um, it's been a obviously been a really weird year, and this being your rookie year, even probably even a little tougher for you. But th does it even does this feel like a second season already for you now? <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't say, but uh, I do come in this uh, into this season, as you say, uh, second season. I would come into this uh, at ma more mature, being that I you know went through I would say uh, three fourths of a season. Uh, well, three fourths of the season. Uh, just, just being, just growing up, man, maturing, and uh, you know, just you know, just taking the steps in the right direction, man. Uh, these guys, Fred, Kyle, uh, Mark, Norm, all these guys, man, they, they making sure you know the young guys is, is where they need to be because uh, you know, to them is everything. These guys defending their titles, and uh, you know, you wanna you wanna be a part of that. So definitely. You think they look at you like a rookie anymore? I definitely don't think so, man. These guys, uh, uh, these guys, you know, if I'm making mistakes, it's, I'm not a rookie anymore. I think I heard someone say it. So, uh, definitely, man, these guys are in tune. I think Mark is already in playoff mode right now. So, uh, that's, that, that, that right there is your anchor. You, you, you get everyone in playoff mode. So, uh, we're locked in over here, man. Sure. All right. Appreciate that. Thanks, Terrence. Thank you. Next, we have Blake Murphy from The Athletic. What's up, Terrence? How are you, man? What's up, Blake, man? How you doing? Good. How's Hayson doing? He's doing pretty good, man. Thanks for asking. Good. Um, I was wondering, you, you know, you, you said you had some time to reflect on your year. In, in the couple of months you've had here, are there any specific parts of your game going through film or, or talking to coaches that you've been able to point out, you know, that's something I can improve on and that's something I'm looking to do when, when we resume play? I would say, um, you know, uh, mastering the pick and roll more, man. Uh, I think I'm a I'd be a secondary ball handler, you know, uh, going into this, going into the bubble uh, and, and shooting off the dribble, man. Uh, that's something that, I, you know, I can improve on. You know, as we all know, I can shoot the ball off a catch and shoot, you know, uh, Kyle, Fred, uh, creating for me and, you know, find me in, uh, when I'm open. But uh, I think the next step is, you know, creating my own shot and just being a, you know, secondary ball handler, secondary playmaker, things of that sort. Thanks, Terrence. Yes, sir. Thank you. Next up is Josh from TSN. Hey, Terrence. How you doing? What's up, Josh? Last month, you, you were talking a lot about the goal of playing meaningful minutes in the playoffs. What do you think you, you need to show Nick and the coaches over the, the, the eight regular season games in order to make that happen, obviously, because most teams – generally tighten the rotation going into the playoffs? Oh, uh, I would say uh, just just the trust, man, uh, on the defense end, really, because uh, that's really what, you know, what wins ball games. Uh, just, you know, the little things on the defense end, being in gaps, uh, you know, showing your length, boxing out, you know, tagging pursuit, all the, all the four pill pillars that, you know, you really uh, take pride in, man. Uh, just showing him those things and really sticking to it, I think, I think, uh, Everything else, will, you know, take care of itself. Thanks, TD. Thank you. Next, we have Sean Barry from NBC2 Florida. 
Hey, Terrence, when you guys arrived down here in Fort Myers, what was it like trying to adjust to work out in life in this bubble and practicing, you know, in a new facility in a new place? Uh, I would say it's, it wasn't tough, but, it, you know, it, it was kind of a challenge, you know, being in, uh, you have to pretty much uh, sit in your room and, you know, take proper precautions, you know, for, for everyone's safety. So uh, it was a little bit of a challenge, but it's fun, man, just being a being around the guys, man, you know, getting back to to things. This is our job. This is our life. We all love it. So, uh, you know, just getting get, and getting to see each other and being around each other, and you know, it, that, that takes away from everything. And then what was your reaction when you first heard that you were coming to Fort Myers to begin the training camp process? Oh, I was excited, man. Uh, you know, like I said, this is this is our life. This is something we love to do. This, I mean, I don't even look at it as a job, man. This is this is this is our life. So, uh, just you know, knowing that we we getting back together, we're gonna start. We're gonna, gonna be around, you know, a lot of these great guys. Like, it was everything to to hear that you know we we gonna get back together. So, thanks. Next is uh, Lindsey Dunn with City News. Hey, Terrence, uh, you are in a state where today for the first time they had more than 10,000 cases. How are you feeling? Are you nervous? Are you anxious? Are you paying attention to what's happening with the virus outside? No doubt. Yeah, you have no other choice but to pay attention. You know, uh, it's, it's, we, we know it's all around us and, uh, you know, we're doing a great job and this, the organization is doing a wonderful job of, you know, taking proper precautions. Uh, you know, we we do, we have to, you know, do, uh, we you know, making sure we wearing our mask, uh, hand sanitizer, gloves if we have to. So uh, we're doing the right things, man, and just uh, stay safe and make sure everyone's, you know, safe. Next up, we have William Liu from Yahoo Canada. Hey, Terrence, hope you're good, man. Um, you mentioned earlier about, you know, wanting to improve in the pick and roll and stuff like that. How much of um, guys like Fred and how you know taught you about sort of little tricks and stuff like that and, and any pointers they've given you on that front throughout the season oh man uh anytime anytime cal fred those guys you know talk to me man i'm, I'm listening i'm all ears because you know they know they they're best cal is 14 years in fred is a young vet i, I look at him as a vet because man he he's a different type of type of guy you know uh especially in in the pick and roll man he, he's he, he mastered it pretty much. Uh, so anytime, you know, they're, they're talking, I'm listening, man. And uh, they definitely give me points because, you know, they want to see, you know, their young guy, you know, come up, man. It's not – it's no hate over here. You know, we all love each other, man, pretty much. So uh, anytime they're talking, like, I'm listening. Great. Thank you. Uh, Steven from Sportsnet, you're next. Hey, Terrence. What's good, man? How are you doing? Uh, you mentioned how like uh, you're you're not seen as a rookie anymore. Mm -hmm. um, I just want I just want to know like like what does that speak to the kind of trust that the team that the guys the veterans on the team they have in you to kind of uh, to I, I guess maybe have a, a bigger role come the playoffs. Oh well, I mean it just goes to the fact that you know it it you know it didn't start off like that. So uh, that means you know we all put that time and put that. I would say that time to to like mesh or mesh together. Uh, you know, I got I had to gain these guys' trust, and uh, I would say it means a lot, man. This is something that you know is is, is I wouldn't say it's not normal, but for me and an undrafted guy, you know, being on the defending champions, I mean, playing with the defending champions, like it's uh, this is unbelievable, man. So. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I honestly don't know what to say, man. It's it's just like you can't make it up. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, you know, that's that's something that you want as a young guy. You want these guys to be able to trust you, and uh, that's something that I'm working towards every day. You know, so uh, I'm excited about you know the process. You know, going to Orlando and really finishing out the season because, uh, man, we we really have a chance to you know do it again for sure. Next question is Vivek Jacob from Complex. Oh, man. Hey, hey Terrence. Uh, I'm sure one of the things you were looking forward to before all of this went down 
was playing in front of the Toronto fans uh, in a playoff atmosphere. I'm just curious, you know, Norm was saying that the bench is going to have to do everything that they can. How do you individually anticipate playing in an arena with no fans? Honestly, man, uh, I'm not sure. It'd be different for me. You know, uh, I, I play off crowd energy, even if, if, even if we on the road. You know, uh, we make a bucket. I like to hear the crowd, you know, go quiet. Like, it's just, you know, it's part of the game, you know. Uh, so it's going to be different for, for everyone, you know, uh, playing without fans, man. It's like fans really, you know, you really don't know how much fans have an impact on things until, you know, there, there are no fans. So uh, we, we will see, you know, how everything goes. But I definitely think it will be different.